Hey everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee. I'm Silver Orpheus. Last time we took on Celadon City Gym and defeated its leader, Erica, who uses grass type Pokemon. This time, we're gonna go ahead and progress back to Lavender Town and actually finish things up there now that we are now done in Celadon City. For the most part, there is actually one thing that I did not go off, that I, not, that I did not go over, and that is coming up right now. So, let's head on back over here and talk to this guy right here. Oh, you're curious, aren't you? You're curious about me and this machine. You want to know the details? Sure. Okay, if you insist. This machine is and I, a great vehicle that allows you to fly in the sky. Yep, I, I perfect. let's just say that I perfectly timed that when I dropped my Joy-Con. I'm a marvelous invention. It's a... I'm a marvelous... It's a marvelous invention, if I do say so myself. It's not an exaggeration to say that this is a secret technique. Even though I worked really hard on this, nobody wants to try it. You seem to be a courageous young boy. I'll tell you how to ride this machine. The secret technique, Skydash. Oh, that Eevee wants to fly my invention instead of you. Great, it matches my inspiration perfectly. Alright, let's get right to it. Do this and that, hold this handle, and pull. Then, that will be like that, and with these balloons, you're in the air. And we learn the secret technique, Skydash. <clears throat> you can have this machine, so be, so be sure to enjoy many trips through the sky. Not, sh not we shall. Let's actually go ahead and do it right now. We're going to go ahead and fly back to Lavender Town, which we can do. Get a nice uh, view of the the nice buildings here. And now we can actually see a full map of exactly where we have gone throughout our entire journey. That right there is Pallet Town, Viridian City, the Fo Viridian Forest, Pewter City, Mount Moon, Cerulean City. And over here is our next destination of Lavender Town. Let's go! Also, I like exactly how goofy this, that animation looks. Because the fact that we're just riding over here. Anyway, I'm going to go heal my Pokemon. I'll see you outside the center. Alright, outside the Pokemon Center. We're going to finally head back inside the Pokemon Tower. Because there's actually something that we can do there. So that Cubone's mom. That's right. Team Rocket keeps on going after Marowak so, he, so they can sell those skulls they wear for profit. I think Cubone is still looking for its mother even though she's gone. I just can't forgive that Team Rocket. Me neither. I saw Cubone heading into this tower a little while ago too. I'll go look for it and I'll keep an eye out for that Mr. Fuji too. The one who's been missing. Thank you. And be careful. I r really don't like ghosts, but I've got to do this. Ah, Hunter. Nice timing. You caught most of that, right? What do you say? You want to come with me? Let's go. Th thanks, pal. It would be a big relief to have you. I'll just let you lead the way, okay? And inside we go. We're continuing our journey inside the Pokemon Tower. So, since we already knocked out all the trainers in this place earlier on, uh, there's really not much, nothing else to say. But now that we have the self-scope, we are now able to identify these ghosts. And that is much better than what we had to deal with earlier. <laughs> Do you really think there really are ghosts in here? Huh? Hunter, what's that? Whoa, that's crazy. So those ghosts were actually Pokemon? Yes. Now that we know their true forms, we're going to be going over them right now. Starting off with Ghastly. Ghastly, as I mentioned earlier, is a ghost and poison type Pokemon. It is the first ghost type we are coming in contact with. Uh, it's like the Abra family. It's very frail. And it's... And it's also, it's very quick to get knocked out very early on. 
and it doesn't learn that many good moves for now. But when it evolves into Haunter, it gets a lot of those really good moves, and in addition to that, if you can trade for it, you can get its final form of Gengar, which is a fantastic Pokemon. Huge special attack. Ridiculous. Ridiculous damage, ridiculous speed. Gengar is the ultimate ghost poison type uh, glass cannon. It's a Pokemon you will probably want to have. Uh, speaking of Ghastly, here's one right here. I'm actually going to attempt to catch one. Uh, now, that, now that you know their true forms, you cannot get kicked out of the Pokemon Tower. So, no, just, there's pretty much no reason to be running away from the ghosts now that you, uh, that you know that they're actually ghost-type Pokemon and not actual ghosts. They won't actually kick you out now, but now you actually can catch them for yourself. And if you want to use these Pokemon, they're actually really good. Po they're actually really good. Particularly Gengar. If you again, if you can trade Haunter. But anyway, that's enough of um, that family. And hey, look at that! We just caught a Ghastly. So that's really good. There, I'm gonna get some experience for that. And no level ups, unfortunately. Ghastly will be coming into the party, though. Uh, what level was it? Really lost track of that. But um, doesn't really matter though. That Ghastly is level 32, so that thing is going to evolve in one level. That's... So, yeah. Know that. If you if you get a Ghastly, then... Like, you, like, if you catch a Ghastly here, then look at that. One level, and you can get an instant Gengar. It's that good of a Pokemon. But anyway, we're right here where we left off and got booted out last time. Let's step forward. Be gone. Be gone, intruders. Gah, this one's even bigger than the last one. Hunter, use that thing. The thing you used last time. The true form of the ghost was the restless spirit of Cubone's mother. The mother spirit was calmed, returning to its kind and gentle nature. It departed to the afterlife and disappeared. Cubone, you... You just came here because you wanted to see your mom again, huh? Sorry for thinking your mom was scary, Cubone. Hunter, I... I don't want to leave Cubone alone like this. I'm going to take it home. Oh, there's someone named Fuji upstairs. Do you think you could see him home too? Are you not scared at all, Hunter? Man, you're full of confidence, pal. You definitely seem dependable. What? You rescued Cubone from Team Rocket? Why didn't you go and get that strong? Right. Well then. Guess I'll leave guess I'll leave this up to you, Hunter. Come on, Cubone. And further up we go. We're now down we're now done here with a Pokemon Tower. And it's that's our last item. That's pretty much all we gotta do here. Let's proceed up to the higher levels. That was originally blocked off before. And here we are. <clears throat> Stop right there. We'll be going first. With that, with that specter out of the way, we can finally get to the top. You're the old geezer they call Mr. Fuji, right? 
You're going to be repeating your Pokemon research for the glory of Team Rocket. Ignore us all you like. We're used to it. We won't take no for an answer. You'll help the boss whether you want to or not. Well, looks like we have something new to deal with here, so you know, yeah, I'll just keep my, my usual team in here. Gramps here thinks he can resist, so we're setting him straight. You better disappear, twerp, or be prepared to fight. And fight we shall. We have a, yet another battle with Jesse and James. Alright, first off we have Jesse sending out Arbok, which is level 34, poison type with the moves Poison, Jab, Glare, and Crunch. And James sending out Weezing, level 34, poison type with the moves Dark Pulse and Sludge Bomb. Uh, James's Weezing seems to have gotten a bit more threatening, but Jesse, on the other hand, is not so much. Same movesets as last time. I'm going to be going in for the dig. Same on the Arbok. Same strategy as last time. Get the worst of the bunch out of the way first. This way, we don't really have to worry about much. Hopefully we can flinch the Weezing. No, and Arcanine is now paralyzed. Not we're going to be dealing with much right now, but it seems that Weezing had the right idea, and they just doubled up into Arcanine. Uh, that is not good for us. So, oh, we're well, paralyzed I think we'll go yeah we'll go in for extra bite damage this way we can actually put wheezing in range of a dig just in case it survives uh, speaking of survive that's exactly what Arbok did and now the trio is paralyzed I think I'm probably going to um, use my last two uh, paralysis heals this turn that's problematic I'm I don't really like that plan uh, yeah. We'll use Arcanine's turn to Paralysis heal Dugtrio. And we'll use Dugtrio's turn to Sucker Punch the Arbok. That's the, yeah, that sounds like a plan. Let's do it. Paralysis heal on Dugtrio. Cured from Paralysis, Sucker Punch, goodbye. No longer have to deal with the glare. Arbok goes down. That should be 533 experience. 666 for Duck Trio. How fitting. Uh, Duck Trio getting, grew to level 33. That's good on us. Uh, Sludge Bomb coming out on Arcanine. Ooh. Yeah, let's switch out. This is not looking really good. I think I'm gonna switch in the Bulba Fett where it's neutral. Or better yet, let's bring in Ghastly. Ghastly can take a hit from a Sludge Bomb. Uh, Dig will be the move of choice. Go in, going in on Weezing. Arcanine come back. We'll go ahead and bring in the Ghastly. The spare, the spare parts Pokemon we have. Just to sack something and actually heal. Dig, we're going underground. That's what we're going we're gonna to be doing. Sludge Bomb is going to connect to Ghastly. That probably won't be doing much damage. No, it is not. Uh, let's go ahead and heal up. Ghastly can take a hit. Perfectly fine. Super Potion... That will be used on Arcanine. There we go. Get some HP back. And this Weezing should be not dead. Dark Pulse still coming out. And that actually was super effective. And it took out Ghastly pretty easily. But you know what? This battle's over. Because Arcanine's coming back out. And we're going to do the same thing we did to Arbok. We're going to Sucker Punch it. This was definitely by far the hardest battle of Jesse and James yet, simply because of the fact that we had a not so good lead um, against a Pokemon that actually had a, a change in moveset for the better. But Weezing is down now, so this battle is done. 584 experience, 730, and nobody gets level up. Ugh, seriously? Again? Just like Operation Stealth Helpingly Kid Stealthily Kidnap Fuji it was a bust then. Don't you think I know that? It'll be fine. We just have a have to help out with the takeover of Selfco in Saffron City. Looks like Team Rocket's blasting off again. Here we are. Let's 
Let's talk to him. Oh, and who might you be? You came to save me from Team Rocket. Thanks, but I didn't even notice they were here. I was too busy trying to calm the spirit of Marowak. I think Marowak's spirit has finally left us. I must thank you for your kind concern. Follow me to my home. It's the Pokemon house at the foot of this tower. So, Hunter, your Pokedex quest is one that, requ that requires strong dedication. Without deep love for Pokemon, it will be hard to complete such a task. I'm not sure if this will help you, but I'd like you to have it. And we got the Poke Flute from Mr. Fuji. Upon hearing the Poke Flute, sleeping Pokemon will spring awake. Try using it if you ever find a sleeping Pokemon. And that we shall. We have finished up everything in both Celadon City and Lavender Town. And next time on Let's Play Pokemon, let's go Pikachu and Eevee. We're going to continue our journey and go to new places we have never seen before. See you guys next time.